Okay, this is going to be a really fast demo for creating an Azure Cosmos DB functions trigger for change feed using VS Code. I'm going to be going through this really fast, um, and I'm going to link all the prereqs um, outside the video. So if anything I do um, uh, doesn't work here, if you're following along, then you want to check your uh, prerequisites. So I've got a directory that I created here called Cosmos Functions, and I'm going to open this with uh, VS Code. Look for the Azure icon here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on this lightning icon here to uh, create a function. I'm going to click yes on that. I'm going to select C Sharp. I'm going to search for the uh, Cosmos DB trigger template. I'm going to go for the default function name and the default namespace. I'm going to create uh, some new app settings. I'm going to select my uh, subscription here. I'm going to select the first database account that appears in my subscription. I'm going to specify the database name and I'm going to specify the collection name. Uh, and I'm going to use a local emulator. While it's creating that, I'm going to show you my uh, collection here. That's the um, database and collection that I have set up. You'll notice I don't have a leases collection. And now that it's created my boilerplate code, it's expecting a leases collection and I'm going to need that for change feed processing. But instead of creating one, I'm just going to use a shortcut here. Setting the create uh, lease collection if not exists parameter and set that to uh, true. And it's going to do it for me. So let me just save all and run. Okay, looks like my function is running. So let me just go into my uh, collection here and create an item and see what happens. And there we go, it's picked up the change. And that's it.